Question 13. We have a table that has the diameters of four planets given in standard form. We're being asked which planet has the largest diameter. So in other words, which of these four numbers is biggest? In terms of standard form, the first thing we need to look for as far as size goes is the 10 to the power of. So the bigger the times 10 to the power of, the bigger the numbers. That makes these two bigger than Mercury and Mars, so we can rule them out. What you then need to do before is look at the decimals and see which one's bigger. In this case, it's Earth, because 1.28 is bigger than 1.21. So Earth is the largest diameter. Part B, write 6.79 times 10 to the power of 6 as an ordinary number. So we write our decimal, 6.79, and what we're going to do is actually multiply it by 10 to the power of 6, which makes the digits themselves move 6 places higher to the left, or we can move the decimal place 6 places lower, which I'm going to do here. So that decimal point is going to move all the way down there, or, depending on how you look at it, the 6 and the 7 and the 9 have moved to the left, what we then need to do is fill in the blanks, the gaps, with zeros. So that's going to give us the following number. 6,790,000. You don't need those commas. You can just leave that as is there. But that is our answer as an ordinary number. C. Calculate the difference in meters between the diameter of Venus and the diameter of Mercury. While the diameter of Venus is 1.21 times 10 to the 7. So I write that down like that. Take away the diameter of Mercury, that's 4.88 times 10 to the power of 6. Now if this was a non-calculator paper, we would write both of these as ordinary numbers and take them away from each other. But you don't need to do that. You can literally just type that in your calculator right now. Um, and your answer that you will get will be 7220000. However, it wants the answer in standard form. So now we've got to change this into a something times 10 to the power of something. The first something, we take our non-zero digits and we write them in such a way that after the first non-zero digit, we have a point. Or in other words, you turn this number into a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9 point something. So in this case, 7.22 is what we would return it into. We have a times 10 to the power of something. And that's something we get by looking at where this decimal point has moved. One, two, three, four, five, six places moved, which means that this number here is six tens bigger than this number here. So times 10 to the power of six. So that gives us our final answer, 7.22 times 10 to the power of six.